Alright, y'all. Um, I got to test fit this, this shelter and I decided to pull everything off of it because I need to put stronger ribs in. And so I'm going to go ahead and test fit this thing and see how, see if it's big enough for me. Lengthwise, I mean. Not big enough at the end for my feet, but it is long enough. My head might stick out a pinch. Uh, I may end up putting a longer crossbar, maybe a little bit stronger crossbar in, and uh, see how that does. Um, but as far as height here, I'm good. Um, I cut the stick just a little bit above waist high. And, uh, but my feet are well above that stick, so I can't, unless I laid on my, unless I laid on my side, I couldn't, I couldn't lay in here, um, because my feet are too big. So, I'm going to have to jack that end up, and I'm going to put a stronger ridge pole in here, because once I get a lot of weight on this thing, with all the debris, I'm afraid it's going to sag in like this, and be even less, so, I'm going to put a bigger Y at the end down there and a stronger ridge pull and uh, see if I can't strengthen this thing up a little bit put some nice strong ribs in and uh, go from there but I'll be back in a few minutes to resize this thing again once I put a new ridge pull and a new end all right y'all uh, same upright here um, I did put a longer and sturdier ridge pole in and two new uprights that are sturdier and straighter and I've decided to do this shelter the size that blanket is right now uh, it's a uh, Italian military blanket um, and uh, it's just just about shoulder width and uh, it's right about the perfect length I do have to jack that other end up but these four poles the upright the, the uh, ridge pole and the two supporting poles are all lashed together very tightly with bank line um, and uh, so that's going to be my support for up front then I'm going to put a Y stick in the back and uh, tie that together and uh, then start putting strong ridge poles in. I was putting way too thin of ridge poles those will still be used but I want to have some real strong stuff in there um, you know about this size here um, to help support the weight but uh, that's what's going on right now. I do have to pull this guy in just a pinch because he's not quite. I'm going to try to center that blanket a little better and get everything adjusted. Uh, I can still move the bottoms. I just can't move the tops. They're all lashed together. Basically a tripod um, or quad pod, whatever. And uh, that way I'll have my good support and it won't fall over or anything while I'm working on it. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm going on right now. Right now, I'm fixing to have me a cup of coffee here in a minute if I can get my fire stoked up. All right, y'all. So, uh, uh, shelter, as I said, I've got two uprights, fairly strong ones, lashed to the upright and to the um, backbone uh, or ridge pole. And uh, coming down, I've got these two strong guys. Uh, you got to, you know, a lot of people are going to say I'm probably going overboard, which I might be. Uh, but I want to have this thing strong so with the weight of the debris and if we get a good snowfall I'm not in this thing when the thing collapses on me. So I'm going to put a couple more of these these strong ones in lashed and then I'll feel better about putting the, the lighter stuff on. Um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about filling the entire length with big stuff like that. I just want to put a couple good... Um, you know strong uh, muscles to go along with that backbone and then as far as the back I've got this up right here that lifts this uh, ridge pull up high enough for my feet to get in here um, as I said I, I wear a size 15 um, and uh, that's lashed and there's gonna be two cross pieces here lashed and I'll probably try to find something else to help hold this up back here uh, not sure what I'm going to do there yet, but you can kind of get an idea. 
of what this thing's going to look like. I might bring these in just a pinch, just a little bit narrower because I don't need that much room in there. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it's, it's plenty long enough. It's just long enough. My head with my feet touching that stick, my head comes to about here. So that's perfect. And then like I said, what I'll probably do is I'll probably fill in one of these sides of this door and just crawl in the, the bigger of the two. Um, and uh, use that and then have my bush bed in there and just a wool blanket and hopefully with a fire out front and a reflector I should be good to go. Um, and then I'll put a small wood pile here so I can toss wood on or whatever. Um, but at, right now I'm sitting down to the perfect cup of coffee. It's perfectly black, it's the right temperature, and it's got just enough sugar in it. Uh, so it's perfect. Um, I'll probably brew up a couple more because I brought a lot of water. Um, but right now I'm just sitting here enjoying the, the fire and uh, having fun. So anyway guys, uh, I'll get back with you here right, shortly. Um, basically I started from scratch on this thing. It's my body length, my feet fit in the end. And I've got one side completely ribbed out right now. And I'll walk you around the other side. And uh, I might stand for some smaller stuff up in here where there's some gaps. But um, this right here, I put some extra stakes in just to make sure this thing was steady. And uh, so I'm going to fill this in with leaves and then I'll pile on top of it too because my feet only come to the end of the blanket um, so I'll pile that all in with leaves that'll help keep drafts off my feet so uh, so far so good now I just gotta rib this side in and then uh, sheath it with that pine and then leaves lots and lots and lots of leaves and then uh, not sure what I'm gonna do with the front yet I thought about cutting off this one side like covering it up so there's only one uh, that'll cut down the heat with a reflector though uh, not sure what I'm gonna do there uh, but this thing the only un unnatural thing on this is the twine um, and the only thing gonna be in it is a uh, bush bed and my wool blanket and uh, hopefully that'll keep me warm enough uh, probably gonna have the bush bed at least between six inches and a foot thick so at least from the, about the knees up uh, down here I'll have to leave plenty of room for my feet so it won't be quite as thick down there but uh, we'll make it big thick warm and comfortable um, and you can see I lashed these uh, strong poles I drove them into the ground and lashed them together that's really solid now I left these extra cords so when I'm inside there I can tie them together and have basically a ridge line that I can tie stuff to like my flashlight or whatever um, and uh, whatever else I need or I can use them to lash poles if I need to um, but uh, anyway I'm gonna get back to work there you go I just stoked the fire uh, my pot holder that I had I rigged it and part of the upright the Y stick was uh, burnt so it collapsed on me uh, so I decided to do it upright I uh, got my cross or my um, support bar, my Y Y stick, and I got my uh, stick here holding the pot with uh, different um, notches to lower or raise the pot, uh, and uh, go from there. So now I'm just waiting for the coffee to brew up, and. Uh, Go from there. Uh, the shelter is coming along great. Pretty much both sides. I got a little bit more to do. Fill in on the on down by the feet on this side, but for the most part, it's pretty well filled in as far as the ribs go. Now I got to start thatching. Uh, so I'll get back with you here shortly. There you all I've made three debris trips. Um, I don't know how we ever gonna see this, but I put as much bark as I could find in there. Right there is covering that outside. And then I put a layer of these green boughs, and uh, we had some discarded bush bed material that's wet. Um, and this is three blanket folds, 
Uh, and I gotta get it. It's gonna take probably, I'm guessing, at least seven or eight for each side. And then we gotta pile it up high on the top too. I get two or three feet off the top uh, in order to get it uh, where I want it to be. Uh, and it just seems like it's taken forever because this is one pile from about here down. And then you put another pile on it wants to slide down and fill up the base down here. Uh, I, I, I seen a video once of somebody making one of these and uh, they, they said don't move them around. They said just basically throw them on there and let them lay wherever they are and settle of their own accord. Um, once I get this side covered in debris, uh, I'll start working on their side, but I'm going to try to find some bark for this other side um, to help fill in the gaps and then I'll give it a good coating of the green boughs and whatnot. But all right, you know, um, you can see I've got, I've started to get the debris piled clear out to that stump, which is about uh, two, two and a half feet. I um, want to go to up to about three, three and a half, um, the whole thing, um, just to ensure it's waterproof and warm. I uh, just crawled inside of it and uh, cleared the sticks out so that when I do put my bush bed in, uh, there won't be anything poking me. Um, made a little bit of a ridge line in there with the pieces of string that are in there uh, so I can hang my headlight off. Um, and. Uh, gonna keep going with it uh, I'm fixing me a cup of coffee and then hopefully I will get this thing uh, pretty well done for the day uh, I want to get some bark on this side get some green um, what's left of the green boughs on this side and uh, then start piling more debris on it uh, and then the next trip out uh, I'll try to get the bush bed put together um, I might not put the bush bed in until right before I uh, actually sleep in it that way no mice or anything are in it not that that's going to hurt me but you know just for the kind of comfort factor um, and plus it'll be more fluffy as long you know if i put it in the you know since i'm going to sleep in it um, so it won't settle and whatnot but uh right now it's doing really well um i had to in order to crawl in it um i'm not exactly a small guy i'm 6'3 220 and uh, I had to pull the, the, the upright um, out of the ground and pull it out to the side a little bit to allow me to get in here. Uh, it's a little too narrow otherwise. So I'm going to go ahead and close this in here too and just use this as my opening. Uh, I, that's what I'm more comfortable with, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'll add a few sticks across here and whatnot. And uh, to help hold the leaves back, and then I'm going to pile it until that stump's completely covered. Um, uh, as far, I mean, as far back. Um, and then I'll have the fire probably right over in this area, right about where my blanket is, right there. And uh, go from there. I'm really excited uh, to try this, but like I said, this is a lot, a lot of work. I haven't got this side covered at all. And I've pretty much been working on this since I got here about 9.30 this morning. Uh, and, and it's still not done. Granted, I had to rebuild it from scratch. All right, uh, but that's what uh, It's taken a lot of work to get to this point. Um, but I've got about three and a half to four foot of leaves piled on the base here up to about this high. Uh, and I need to get it that high, the entire shelter. It's going to be about four foot above the shelter and then all the way around and uh, that should keep me plenty warm and plenty dry um, mostly warm though because I'm not concerned with rain right now uh, or to, you know whenever I camp out in this I'm not going to be able to do it tonight um, um, with the new uh, fiance and whatnot planning a wedding and all that stuff uh, I got to work around that so uh, the next time I get a chance to get out here uh, I'm going to try to get you know sleep in this thing uh, hopefully it'll be a nice cold bitter night that I can uh, uh, get out in this thing um, not too many people say that but 
I, I really want to put this shelter to the test and I really hope the night that I do get to camp out uh, will be a nice cold cold night uh, so I can really put this thing to the test um, I think if I could get this much all the way around uh, that would be great I think there's no way any water would ever get down all that through that um, but I think once I do get that much on there, I'm going to put, try to put some pieces of bark and some sticks on top um, just to help control the, um, the loss of the leaves. Uh, if we do get a nice gusty night or something, I'll come back out and have no leaves on here. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, plus, I think the fact that I can't camp out it tonight will give these leaves and the debris a chance to settle. Uh, and that'll tell me if I need to put more on. Um, I'm still I'm still working on it. I'm still gathering, uh, and uh, I found that to gather these kind of leaves, uh, you need to. Um, I mean, it, these kind is in you know oak and maple and that kind of thing, as opposed to pine. Uh, you need the the best way I've found to gather that much is two sticks about two foot long, and possibly maybe a little bit longer and uh, use them like single rakes and you can gather a lot of material quickly that way uh, plus it helps sift through the smaller sticks um, stuff like that because I don't want sticks jabbed down in here because I don't want rain hitting those and running down through the debris um, so I want to keep the sticks out as much as possible but I'm not super worried about it um, because with four foot of debris uh, I'm not you know I don't see a chance of water getting in, um, but I am going to have uh, next time Bart or the professor or, or uh, even uh, uh, beginner Bushman gets out here. I'm going to have them do the five-gallon bucket test, except I'm going to do two five-gallon buckets to see if I get wet. Uh, because, like I said, I really want to put this to the test. Um, but the stump's covered. That's about four feet from the edge, the bottom. Um, up to about this high like I said you can see where it stops there uh, that needs to go the rest of the way and uh, I'll be happy with that um, but I need to start gathering more bark to put on that there side you go. because I, I took the rest of the uh, green pine boughs and put those on there I laid some on the roof for the ridge line to help uh, but this isn't meant to I mean, it, it's part of it is. I mean, it, it's helping keep some of this stuff out um, as far as the elements and water and whatnot. Um, but the majority of what I'm, I'm hoping this will do is hold the leaves from going through the cracks. Um, and I'll, sh I'll just go ahead and show you. You can see it's pretty well covered on this side. Um, used some of them to block in the foot end. And then I've got this big pile of leaves. Uh, right now, that pile of leaves is about belly button high on me, which is about, I don't know, four feet. Um, so that's what's going on right now. I still got to add clear out to here all the way on around and uh, keep going with it. So that's what I'm working on. Um, it's very, very time consuming, like I said before. Um, would not want to have to do this in a survival situation unless it was long term. Um, if I got into a survival situation, I hate that word by the way, um, but if I got into a survival situation and I, you know, I would go for shorter term shelter at first, and as soon as I realized it was going to be longer term, I would go for something more like this. Um, uh, the only bad thing about this, there is no room inside of it at all to do anything but lay there uh, granted the the ridge line right now is about hip high um, at the front and uh, I'll go ahead and give you a quick uh, look inside of here you can see it's getting dark uh, the camera usually shows more light than the human eye can pick up uh, you can see the ridge needs covered obviously, the foot end needs covered in, but it's got a good protection. Uh, I think 
right now I'd be I'd be happy with this shelter if I had a good fire in front and a wool blanket uh, but you know that's not what this is about this is about trying the shelter out and uh, um, you know doing what you got to do uh, but as far as you know if you're talking survival situation for a shelter like this 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 a lot of calories this a lot of food resources a lot of liquid used um, I've used two jugs of water just because I'm thirsty um, and you know I still haven't even got the thing done it takes a lot of energy to build this thing um, once you've got it you've got it uh, you're gonna be warm um, and dry but you know the resources it takes going around gathering all the materials uh, the amount of materials it takes uh, granted it's just debris but you know still uh, but uh, I think as is right now I could sleep a night in it uh, I'm not gonna go there I'm gonna keep going with it um, but you know that's what it is I'm debating on whether I want to do like a little tunnel going in uh, to help block the wind from coming inside the shelter. Uh, but I also thought about maybe thatching some kind of door. Um, or, I don't know, um, maybe making two uh, like uh, thatched pieces and then, um, or crisscross frames and filling it with debris and tying them together and making a door that away uh, something I gotta kind of have some kind of door over this I think um, if I have a fire in front of it I'll just have to see uh, I'll probably end up making one uh, not today but um, and just in case kind of thing uh, but I think honestly this is gonna be a really warm shelter um, and it's you know I thought about maybe even climbing through that end, but I don't think I've got enough room through that end. But uh, it's very sturdy. It's not going nowhere. Um, and uh, we shall see. So, uh, anyway, right, guys, guys. I'm going to go ahead and crawl in this thing. I think when I do put the bush bed in, I'll extend it out just a pinch uh, to give me some something so I'm not in the mud. So you can see I'm well covered um, as far as you know work goes. I might, like I said, bail it out a little bit on the front so I get less wind coming in. But I think with a bush bed in here, it'll be a really nice comfy sleep. Um, and uh, at least I hope. And uh, we'll go from there. And like I said, I don't think this is a good survival shelter unless it's long term. Uh, I know I'm going to probably catch some flack for that, but it takes a lot of energy and a lot of time to build. I've been here since 9.30 this morning, like I said, and uh, it's 3 o'clock now, and I still ain't got it done. I'd probably have it done before dark, so it is, it is possible to do it in, you know, a full day uh, by yourself. Uh, but that's with an axe, a saw, a blanket to get your leaves. Um, and string to tie it up with um, if you didn't have any of those things this would not be the shelter to go for um, like I said uh, if this was a survival situation I would just pile up the leaves and crawl in um, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to build a framework or anything like that unless I unless I uh, had the time the energy and hopefully the tools to do this um, I think this would be a very warm, comfortable shelter, uh, you know, during the night. Um, but I would not want to have to set out a rainstorm in this because there's no room to move around really. 
I mean, I could I could halfway sit up in this thing, but it's just it's too small. Uh, it's enough to survive the night, and I think that would be the most important part. Um, but like I said, I think half of this, uh, like a shelter half, would be perfect. Um, I don't feel any wind right now at all, uh, except coming at me uh, through this open door. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a frame and then uh, thatch that, like cro cross hatch with uh, real thin twigs. And then I'll make two of those, put them together and fill them with leaves and whatnot to make a door to keep, that, keep the wind out. Um, and I might still bell this out a little bit like I did here. Um, to block more of the wind but uh, I'm a big guy um, not very uh, maneuverable and it's hard for me to get in here um, but uh, as far as you know would it work I think it would uh, we'll have to see when I sleep in it um, right now the only thing that's cold on me uh, granted it's only 52 degrees right now but it, it's coming from the ground um, the ground is cold right now um, that's why I put the blanket down uh, but you know I do have room not this is not counting the six in, or foot six inches to a foot of material I would be laying on but I do have room to maneuver around or adjust my position I can lay on my side or whatever in here but right now I've got a sunroof um, and I you know like I said I could get this done and and a couple more hours but it's a lot of work and uh, I haven't had anything to eat today and I got to go home anyway so uh, I think I'm gonna call it but I'm gonna bring you guys in here to show you what else I have left to do uh, at least from the inside view uh, so I'll be back with you in a minute all right uh, fixing to take you guys in the shelter so you can see how it's like on the inside. I was trying to be very careful when I built this thing. Not to have too many sticks like this thing poking through. Um, because they're liable to poke you in the eye when you're crawl crawling in or out. Uh, I got one here. I'll have to cut him off. Um, but I tried for the most part to keep that kind of stuff out. Um, but one good thing about having all this pine is it'll smell like Christmas in here. All right, uh, you can see how I, how I left just a little bit of room between my foot and the floor and the um, the uh, rafter. But uh, the room between me and here, not counting the bush bed, is from elbow to fingertip, um, about a foot and a half maybe. Um, but you can see I haven't got the ridge covered at all. Uh, you can see the bark. Um, and uh, what's, and, you know, I, obviously I don't have enough bark. I just got what I could find on the ground uh, where a recent tree had fallen. Um, but it was already been cleaned up. But there's some of the bark right there. Uh, and this is the ridge line I was talking about. I just tied this up kind of loose so I could tie my headlight or whatever in here. Um, I am all the way in. And my head is equal to this this door here um, so I'm gonna have to tie another one up here and bring this out and bell it a little bit it'll help block the wind anyway um, and then I'll like I said try to cross hatch it but you can see all the light on this side as opposed to this side um, but uh, anyway guys that was my main objective today was to do the shelter I still haven't got it done I'm really hoping to get out uh, sometime this week to finish it and then I'm really looking forward to spending a night in it um, to see how it is um, but uh, I, looking at it now I probably could have kept this lower and spread the walls out a little bit farther um, I do have plenty of room I've got about four inches on either side of my arms or my shoulder um, but uh, that's the shelter uh, let me know what you think uh, if you guys have built one of these, I'm not looking for your, the armchair elitist who've never been out in the woods, but they think they know everything. You know, I'm not looking for that. 
Uh, I would like to know if you guys have built one of these and let me know how much debris you put on because this is my first debris shelter. Um, and, uh, you know, let me know what's going on and uh, what you think of it so far. And uh, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, um, I actually thought about uh, doing a, a separate channel just for skills like shelter building, navigation, uh, all that kind of stuff just for skills uh, and keeping my bush bumming count just for my camp outs and whatnot. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, uh, like I said, let me know what you think. I, I appreciate all the comments and the questions and um, all that stuff. And uh, until the next time. Thank you for watching.